things we're going to be working on. So, when I'm on top, when I'm in the car, a couple things we want to be doing. Good wide base, good posture, and good hand weight. So when I'm here, I like to put my hands just on top of the hips here, chin down, looking straight up his chest. Because a lot of guys are going to be trying to like grab you, pull you down. You know, we're trying to be here. So all I'm trying to do is right here, good posture. Then all we're going to do is a lot of guys like to grab your gloves. So they're here, they're going to try to grab That's them, try to pin you down. All we're going to do is work yeah. with hand rolling drills. So partners, you're just going to be grabbing the gloves and stuff. Partners, all we're going to do is I'm going to go thumb down, elbow back. As soon as that knee comes back, we roll over the top. Thumb down, elbow back, roll those hands. So when he's here and he's grabbing my hand, I'm going to pull my hand back, thumb down, Rolling it into the butt. See, the ideal target is right in between the eyes and the ears, right here, kind of that temple location. Because a lot of guys are going to be blocking their face here, so when it's here, see how they're blocking right there? That's what we're trying to land, right behind that glove, right as we're touching the ear, right to the face. So we're here. I get a good base. Boom, partner grabs you, you're back in. Did you do the, you get the posture, good base. There. Three times. Then switch. Alright. So you can have your hands down. Yep. I like your roll. Get it going. One, two. Boom, we're here. Same type of concept, I'm still gonna get myself in good position. I'm not trying to like be way up here, I'm trying to be in a good kind of curl position here. But a lot of guys will still have your hands here. So one of the things I like to do, especially when I'm here, is I'll roll that, and then I like to plate this hand. So like where I'm trying to grab is, do you see on Carson's glove how there's that ridge right there? We're trying to grab right behind that. Because you can't stick your thumbs in the glove, but you can wrap the glove. As long as you're grabbing the majority of the hand, you're still fine. So when I'm here, we're working all I'm going to do, boom, plant that hand to his chest. There, and I'm going to try to start pushing this across, because then all I'm going to do, see how now he naturally lets go of my hand out of like, I need to defend myself? Great, all we're going to do is a one, two. All right, whatever feels a little more natural to you. Where you're trying to land with that hammer fist is right up where the glove connects to your wrist. So when I'm here, this hand, I'm trying to land two knuckles right across the jawline or right across there. This hand, when I'm coming back, I'm trying to land right across that jawline to where my palm hits the Then we're here. Boom. I plant this hand. Bop. Bop. Back in. Just trying to get to the position. Plant, and I'm trying, see I'm trying to kind of push it across. Naturally, that's going to create the reaction I want to bop. Alright, question time. So, three each side. So, do one side, do the other, one side. Three each, then switch. Okay. Biggest thing I'm working on is giving you guys the basics of ground and pound. Because on Thursdays, we're going to start building up to more and more intricate things from the guard, being in proper position here. This is where I'm start. I want to get your Make sense? What? So, I'm here. A lot of people get very head focused when you get into the guard. Like everyone's like, ah, I can knock him out here, right? Rampage. Ah, he comes out, right? Couple places to think about that I want you guys to be looking for. One that I like a lot that most people don't think about. I'm gonna pin this hand, but I'm gonna try to shove it up. You're like, man, does you take more of someone from guard? Absolutely, you cannot hit more of them. No, you can't hit an arm. Pin. <laughs> so when I'm here, think about it this way. It's not a shot that's going to hurt someone, but shocking is <laughs> weird. I'm here, right? Little shot. Because what that also allows you to do, then he realizes, shit, I don't, I don't like that. He starts dropping that hand down real tight. A couple other spots to think about. Obviously, the cheap body shot that everyone, you know, everyone does the... 
right? Everyone's seen that, it's about as effective as it was. But if I start going here, about pin it across, here. Now, as pros, I teach you guys to elbow the butt. No one thinks about this. And that is a brutal shot, you guys can't do it in any. But as pros, I will elbow the absolute fuck out of this butt. I don't even look at punch, really. All I'm doing to look is go, bop, bop, bop. Because most people, the top of their thigh is a condition. Feel that here? Go back, and the other one I see to the is. It's called the running band. Three times. I've heard that a lot. But as amateurs, you can still hit. The nice part is, see how that makes Carson want to open his legs? See so, you know what I mean? Everything we're doing in the guard is to get him to open. So like if I'm here, we're working. So like I'll just try to like do this and it never works. Yeah, you know, that naturally just kind of like that, right? <laughs> it doesn't hurt, but it's like, fuck you. So like you here. That's what I'm looking for. So I want you guys to do, try to kind of set yourself up for a little armpit shot. Body shot on the same side, then find, you, you know, see where you can hit the thigh at. Partner, you're naturally going to feel it, open that guard, and then you can just work to come up or just feel that this is where we're trying to be. So from a technical side, that is what I want you guys working on. From a tactical side, so you're going to be differentiate between these two things, technical versus tactical. Technical is the how we do something. Left hand goes here, right hand goes here, right? You know, that type of shit. When I talk about tactical decisions, it's what we are doing and why. I'm hitting Carson in the body there and in that leg to get him to open his leg so then I can pass. So understand the tactical mission when you're in guard. Realizing guard, it's probably 60 40 Carson's advantage. If you have a really good guard, I can hit you from bottom. I can throw up really effective submissions, or I can sweep and stand up. What do you really have from top? Basic ass punches, passes. So it's probably a 60 40 position for the bottom if he has any good tricks. So what you have to realize in guard, the tactical decisions I'm making on top are to pass. Very few of us are blessed with the God touch of go to sleep, right? Like none of us have that. It's just not so. So you have to set people up, make them think, make them move, so that they have to look in their guard. Because I'm talking to Carson. Carson can probably sit here in a closed guard if I don't do a lot. I'm just trying to pass, and he's going to close his guard, try to just hold on to me. Carson likes to punch people in the face. He wants to stood back up. I rest. We're going to stay here. We're here. We're hanging out until the ref says no more, right? So when I'm here, I'm not trying to knock Carson out. All I'm trying to do See how naturally he has to start opening up or trying to really break my posture quickly? Otherwise, he's got to create space and try to kick off myself. That mistake is where I get to capitalize. Because now I'm here. Now what can Carson do? Fuck all. <laughs> in, in a realistic sense, he has maybe a couple I've taken away 90% of his submission threat. And it's going to be a lot harder for him just to kick off and stand up. So now, just by getting to this staple position, you're getting him to open that guard with basic ground. No, no, it's hard. I wasn't trying to. But you naturally felt the need to open your guard. The second I can get him to open his guard, now guess what? Now I'm in position. Now it's like, you know, you start, you start to create those little mistakes that allow you to make big gains. Because the second I hit side control, the fight is over. It's, it's over if I have any time left, I'm fucking your life up. Congrats. Love you. I'll go, I'll go crucifix, I'll go arm bar, I'll go mount. Like, at that point, the die is cast, I just have to go. So that's what you guys have to be thinking tactically in the goal. We're not knocking him out, and we're most likely not hitting this submission. What we're hitting is an effective ground and pound from a solid base. Our toes are up, our knees are wide, our weight's over our hips. 
So that way he can't just kick off. He can't just try to sweep. We've got a good base. Boom. I'm working here. Then that opening allows me to jump up and pass or do something with that. Whatever makes sense for my game. Does that make sense? So all I want you guys to do is look for that armpit, body, and that leg. Just kind of see where those little punches are. And then we're going to work one more and you'll get out. Yeah, I'm just trying to block and give myself enough space to sneak a punch. In. You can pin that with your left hand. You can just kind of pop it up and shoot an uppercut in. Just looking for, it's not just head, body, head. You know, you got to look for a little shot. I'll tell you another spot that drives people fucking nuts. When I'm here, it doesn't feel good, does it? Oh. And here's the nice part about it. When I'm here, it bounces that hand down. Allows you to pull that hand. Stop and pop. You know, you can start getting a little bit more creative with the strikes than just the whole shit. Looping hook to the head. The bullshit big body shot. That's how you open the hand. Everyone's used to eating close or moving away. What they're not used to is that fucking bicep. Hit. That armpit. That thigh. You get them to open that guard, that's where you get progressive. Make sense? Three and three on each side, just looking for some of those more creative shots, and we'll work a drill. One, third. A lot of guys will start to either cut their gloves or they'll start trying to kind of do the home alone defense. You know, where they kind of put their hands across their cheeks and they're just trying to really block punches on the side. So they'll go here, cross your arms all the way up for it. A lot of guys will go here, you know, I'm trying to hit, and they're just blocking here. All we're going to do is I'm going to put my the back of my hand across his chest, shoot it like a rock chip. So I'm here, we're working. Here, even if he hooks that hand, watch. Doesn't have to be a hard shot. Try to pop up his nose, pop up that chin. Once I'm here, all I'm going to do is left. See what I mean? So all we're working to do is I'm moving a little bit, trapping here, and I just can't land these outside punches. Like I'm here, these are very easy to fit. Let me do one more. But when I'm here, that gives you the focus. So all I want is you're in this position here. I'm gonna pull. I touch that uppercut, and I will actually stick. Like I will use it to kind of post. Make sense? So using that uppercut to roll that outside knee. Alright. Three on each side. What? Super though we'll be here with Carson. And I'm gonna represent the bottom guy. Yeah. Top guy, sure all you're trying to do is land some half ass. Name, but she's definitely my sister, so. so you're not trying to knock me out, but you're trying to practice your ground and pound. Does that make sense? So half. This is kind of like a half speed simulation drill. Bottom guy, all we're trying to do is trap and keep him off balance. So Carson's trying to hit me here. I'm trying to hit him. And just making him work for light ground So it's not a tight drill. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Like this should look like a half speed spar. Where Carson's trying to land shots. I'm not really going for submissions or sweeps. I'm just trying to block and defend myself, making Carson work to find those creative punches, those creative combinations. I'm trying to break posture, hook arms, block shots, just little things like that. We're not trying to be like, spike Like, super. Bottom man, this is a, your effort on this is about 30%. Top guy, yours is 40%. So your, the drill is actively for the top man, but it's not like a, sleep type drill. It's a, hey, all right, I can land a punch from here. You land, okay, I, you know, we're looking more of a tactical mind, not a, let's spar and go hard today. That's not what we're saying. So we we start grabbing their hands? Yeah, we're just start. yeah, we're just starting hands on the chest. Kind of, I'm just here, his hands are on the chest, the timer will go off, we'll do three minutes, switch, three minutes, switch, and we'll go through, all right? 